right, guys. Uh, my buddy Dom up in New York and Syracuse represent 315, baby. My buddy Dom asked me to shoot uh, a video to talk about uh, some basic principles on the kettlebell swing. So um, before I take a step back onto the platform, I will say uh, a few things. One, uh, the stereo is going on because they got people working out. Uh, the fan is on behind me because it's hot as fuck down here in North Carolina. So I have a ton of background noise. I'm testing a new microphone, so I don't know if uh, if you guys don't pick me up all that well, just uh, pick your volume up, all right? I'm gonna try and talk as loud as I can just to project. Now, before I actually start getting into the swing, what I have to talk about is there's two fundamental different schools in kettlebell use. So there is uh, the RKC SFG school, all right? That school is, their entire purpose is to promote and develop strength and power. Then there is the kettlebell sport side of things. The kettlebell sport side is to use efficient movement to do as many reps as possible, expending as little energy as possible. So if you want to think about uh, the SFG RKC side more along the lines of a gymnast, and if you want to think about the kettlebell sport side being more along the lines of uh, like a long distance swimmer. That's how I would equate these two differences. So uh, onto the, the actual kettlebell work itself. All right, so what I want you guys to think about in the uh, in the process of a swing is a teeter-totter on a playground. So your fulcrum point is gonna be here. That's the hips, all right? So fulcrum point, teeter-totter, all right? So on one end of the teeter-totter is your kettlebell, all right? In your hand, bend your arm, that's the kettlebell, all right? The other end of the teeter-totter, the counterbalance is this right here, your upper torso, your shoulders and your head. So if you think about the teeter-totter like this and kettlebell at this end, shoulders and head at this end, all it is is this movement. That's it. So if you think about the fulcrum being your hips, teeter-totter, one end the kettlebell, one end counterbalance, all right? The biggest mistake that I see people make trying to swing a kettlebell is they do not, they don't put the teeter-totter on the fulcrum. They're, they're here trying to do this with a gap. So the gap is here. The arm needs to be against the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the hips. The hand hat, the arm has to be here, all right? That is the absolute key. The problem that I see most frequently and you see this throughout a lot of CrossFit, is that it's too much bend in the knee. They're, they're squatting, all right? The kettlebell swing is not a squat, all right? It is a fold at the hip. It's a fold at the hips with a slight knee bend. It is not a squat, all right? This is a squat, all right? The problem is uh, guys that are used to the barbell and doing deadlifts, cleans, squats, clean and jerk snatches on a bar, they are used to that bar traveling straight up and down. So when we try and teach people to hinge at the hips here, to make that fulcrum push, all right? Guys aren't used to this because they want to squat. They, they want to go down instead of letting the kettlebell go back. So I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna show you right and wrong, okay? So, wrong. Now, right. So there's gonna be your number one thing, all right? 
The other big thing is, on that backswing, the problem is a lot of people will allow the kettlebell to flip up and hit them in the ass. I'll try and show you exactly what I mean. It's wrong. It's gonna destroy your grip and your hands, all right? So speaking of your hands, the next problem is actually holding the bell. So in the handle, all right, where we want the handle is here, hook grip, all right? The problem is people death grip that handle and the handle is here, in the middle, here. The rotation of the bell and you trying to pull it out of the back swing swings and snatches, if the handle is here, you are guaranteed to rip this part of your hand to shreds. The handle needs to be here, in hook grip, all right, just in the fingers. So, close up, the handle should be here, all right, in the fingers, and then you close the thumb. The handle should not be here. The middle of the hand, this is wrong. This is what will destroy and rip your hand to shreds. Hook grip, here, in the fingers, all right? Then close the thumb. So, stepping back, I'll show you guys single arm swings. And a big problem with single arm swings is that if you try and take the bell straight ahead, all you're gonna use is your hips. All you're gonna push is hips. Kettlebell sport, we're gonna teach you efficiency of movement and making your body move the weight. So if I go hips, I'll go straight ahead. Now, when you train kettlebell sport for swings and snatches, you will learn to make the angle of that backswing go back at that angle, 45 degrees this way. So I'm gonna stand straight ahead, but my swing is gonna go this way and then that way. Not straight back, but here at this angle, all right? Why? It's a weight shift, left to right, opposite of the bell. So, the same rule applies to snatches, and you will see. All I have to do is shift, 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 and the weight will go up. So, you can see the path is not straight up and down. It's on a curve, this way, not straight up and down. Your next problem on snatches is gonna be your grip and the down. So, what you're gonna see a lot, especially CrossFit, SFG, RKC, is throwing the bell forward. So this, is guaranteed to shear your fucking hands off. So, the trick is to let it fall. Let it fall and then let it go back. So, it's a twist.
That's it, guys. It's that simple. Simple, right? All right, thanks, guys.